Hey guys, welcome to another video from GearKit. Today, we're here with another food production video. In today's video, we will see how big factories make sugar from sugarcane. So make sure to watch this video in full without skipping, otherwise you will miss a lot of information. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then hit that red button below this video to subscribe. You will not regret it. Sugarcane sugar has been popular for 2,000 years. It has become a very important part of our daily lives. It is used in many different ways in many foods. No one can ever think of drinking tea and coffee without sugar. But while sugar can make delicious food, it also has dangerous disadvantages. Sugar is also called white poison. Do you know that besides sugarcane, sugar is also made from beetroot? Sugarcane belongs to the grass family. Sugarcane is now the most widely grown crop in India and Pakistan. So let's make the journey from sugarcane fields to sugar factories. First of all, sugarcane is harvested from the fields and brought to the sugar mill. Then it is put in a chopper to cut the sugarcane into small pieces. Where pieces of equal size are made so that more juice can be extracted by squeezing them. The sugarcane pieces are crushed and put into the crusher to separate the sugarcane juice and peel. In the sugar industry, this separation is called bagas, and it is used as fuels. Bagas is such a useful fuel that it can meet all the electricity needs of the sugar industry. The machine used to separate sugarcane juice and husk is called millhouse. The raw juice obtained from the millhouse is filtered and sent into the processing house. The whole process of making sugar from sugarcane juice takes place in the processing house. Sugarcane juice is first heated to 75 degrees Celsius. Then lime solution that is called lime milk. It is added. This chemical process reduces the acidity of sugarcane juice. It is then heated to about 104 degrees Celsius and put into a cleaner and various food grade chemicals are added to it. During this process, all kinds of particles in the juice settle down and clear juice starts coming from the surface. The pure juice is then boiled in vapors, which helps steam so that the water then evaporates. Due to this process of evaporation, the juice thickens and transforms into syrup. The syrup is then heated to steam to make raw sugar. When the raw sugar is ready, some is kept which is bought by the candy makers. Because raw sugar is free of chemicals, so it is used to make candy. To make candy, in a frying pan, raw sugar, water, and a little milk is added and boil well. After boiling for several hours, it becomes treacle. This treacle is then poured into some of the prepared vessels in which the threads are placed, and it is kept covered for eight days so that it doesn't catch any wind. After eight days, the candy is ready to be sell in the market. And from the same raw sugar, Another kind of sugar candy is made which is called patasha. In subcontinent, it is a kind of dessert. For this process, baking soda is cooked in a frying pan with sugar and water. Baking soda is used in this process to whiten the color of the candy. And later, small drops are dropped on the sugar powder that makes the patasha. Now let's go back to the sugar mill. Raw sugar is passed through a special sleeve to separate it from the syrup. This syrup is called molasses. This molasses is used to make several grades of sugar by going through different stages. And the last surviving molasses is called final molasses, a byproduct of the sugar industry. The resulting sugar powder is reprocessed by dipping it in hot water. This solution of sugar is called sugar powder and is reprocessed by dipping it in hot water. The solution of the sugar is called liquor. Different food grade chemicals are added to the liquor to turn the sugar white. Then this sugar is filtered and purified from various impurities. The resulting white sugar is dried with hot air. Finally, the sugar grains are sifted through sleeves of different sizes. Coarse and fine grain sugar is packaged separately and sent to the market. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have anything in mind about this video, please write it below in the comment section. 
share the video with friends and feel free to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching. See you in another video. Take care.